Positive 40, negative 1, 22, 10 and 4, 8 and 5, both positive and negative in either direction. Let me just show you. Let me show you what the possibilities look like. That's right. There are your possibilities. Each one of these binomials, the first two multiply to get 6x squared on every one of them. And the last two multiply to get negative 4 on every one of them. But only one of them works. Only one of them will give you the plus x in the middle when you do the O and the I. So here's how I was taught back in the back in the old days. <laughs> I was taught, ladies and gentlemen, you do trial and error. You try, it gets close, you try again, you try something else, you keep trying. There's 32 possibilities here. On a bad day, I could have tried 31 times before I got the right answer. Or if the thing happens to be prime, I could try all 32 before I get the, the right answer. So uh, the way I figure it, from seventh grade to this time right now, I've wasted probably eight months of my life doing the trial and error method. And I'm really ticked off that, uh, that nobody told me the better method, that there is a method out there that allows me not to do trial and error, but to simply go through a few steps and come up with the answer. And that method I'm going to share with you, it's, it's one of a multiplicity of types, and you'll all see some resemblances if you have one of these types still. You'll all see some resemblances. I'm going to show you something called the tic-tac-toe method. Anybody heard of it? Heard of the tic-tac-toe? Anybody heard it through uh, Dr. Titus? Okay. It works really nice. And uh, Dr. Titus showed it to me uh, a couple of years ago, so I'm going to show it to you. Let's start with an other, more workable trinomial. Let's start with this guy right here. Can we dim the lights? Can we dim the lights? Thank you so much. All right. Tic tac toe method. I promise you, you will not remember this if you don't write it down. This is not one of those things that you go, oh, I see. That's, that's obvious as to how you do it. It's not obvious. It's got some very specific steps, so please write it down. Once, you're gonna just, once we do it the first time, you're going to go, well, that's a lot of work to get the one answer. But when you do it the second time, you go, oh, I see. It gets easier every time. It gets more obvious, more it gets simpler every single time you do it. So it doesn't feel ponderous when you do it two or three times. Alright. That's why it's called the tic-tac-toe method. There's the tic-tac-toe grid. Hey, see? It looks like fun already. Got a tic-tac-toe thing. Alright. Here's the first thing you're going to want to do. You're going to want to label the coefficients of your terms based on the old quadratic formula. Remember that? Minus B plus or minus all that stuff? But you, before you did the minus B plus or minus all that stuff, you labeled things A, B, and C. Remember that? You simply put the trinomial in standard form, that's x squared, x is constant number, and you label these guys A, B, and C. A is the coefficient of the x squared, B is the coefficient of your middle term, the x's, and C is your constant term. Now that's not hard, but it's going to be essential to do what we're going to be doing. So label A, B, and C. Guys, you ought to actually write them down because we don't go in order with what we're going to do. Step number one. Takes care of the top row. This is number one. Step number one. Labels these A, C, and A, C. So you just fill in A, C, and then you multiply the two and you get A, C. So let's see, A is a 3. The C is negative 8. C almost did it. C is negative 8. A times C is negative 20. Step number one. 
A, C, A, C. Step number two goes down this row. And this is the only step that will actually require you to burn some mental calories. You're actually going to have to think for just a second on this step, all right? Maybe not too long. This is one of the, I'm looking for two numbers, steps. Two numbers. Whose product, let me multiply, right? Whose product is AC, negative 24. And whose sum is B. In this case, negative 2. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to get negative 24, and they add to get whatever B is, in this case, negative 2. Can you think of two numbers like that? You can think of them. What are they? Did you think of them? That's it. Negative 6 and positive 4, right? Two numbers whose, whose product is negative 24. Got some options there, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Ah. But you add them together to get negative 2, negative 6, and positive 4. So that wasn't too hard, right? And you can put them in either place. So you get your signs, right? The sign, the negative goes with the 6. So negative 6 and positive 4, and it doesn't matter where you put them. You can put 4 and negative 6 if you want. Okay. All right? That's the hard, the, the quote, hard step. That's the only one that requires you to actually reason and think. All right, this uh, next, number three, goes down here. <clears throat> Step number three. And I'm going to factor A, which, by the way, is three. <coughs> so the factors divide evenly. into the far right numbers. It's not, a, not a real succinct way to say that. But I want to factor 3, and it factors in limited ways, right? Either 3 and 1 or 1 and 3. That's the only way you can factor 3. So that... These factors, however I list them, divide evenly into these numbers. So is it going to be 1 and 3 or 3 and 1? 3 and 1, right? 3 and 1 divide evenly into those two numbers. So that's how I express it. And uh, when we get to numbers, you know, like if A was 8 or something and there's lots of possibilities, there's only one way you can factor it so that these two factors divide evenly into the far right numbers. So there's only one way to do it. All right? Number four is fill in the blanks. Now notice, if you will, every one of these rows and columns is a multiplication problem. One times three is three. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 1 times 4 is 4. So just fill in to complete the, the observation that these rows and columns are multiplication problems. 3 times negative 2, 1 times 4. Hey, we've completed the grid. We've done the tic-tac-toe, and our answer is right there. And here's how you figure. You, you crisscross, but you start on the left. So it's 3x plus 4. It's 1x, or just x minus 2. No trial and error, ladies and gentlemen. Just working through the steps. 